Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q4 of the weekly Condor S 354, the length of the longest valid substring. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this pro. So this one was kind of tricky. I had a, um, I had an initial incorrectness, uh, to be honest, or incorrect idea, because I, I thought that you can kind of just block things out and then it'll be fine, right? Meaning that, you know, uh, for example, if I had something like this thing, If I had something like this thing, I was I, I was just gonna write like okay, let's just block out the DE, the LE, and then also just the E, I guess, right? And I thought like oh, and then you know this is, the, you know what's remaining will be good, but I but that is actually not true, right? Because you can have TCOD, um, so you have to take the entire thing. Um, so the tricky part about this one really though is just. Maybe like take a look at the constraints very um, precisely. Um, yeah. Um, and the, the biggest thing is that the forbidden, the, the length of each forbidden character is 10. So that means that you can, well, brute force look up. Uh, I, I mean, there are other ways you can do it. There's, there's stuff like, um, you know, maybe suffix array or something like this, but... But the, the point is that you don't have to, and that's the beauty of, about it, right? Um, because then now, you can brute force for every, uh, for every thing. You, uh, if you, you want to see if you can add a new character, ye. Well, now you can brute force, okay, can we add one character? Can we add, you know, the last two? Is it in forbidden? Is, is the last three in forbidden? Last four, last five, like, dot, 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 right? Because you know that this only goes up to 10, you know, you also know that we only need to look at ten things, and that means that there are most ten strings. Um, there are only ten strings, or ten lookups for each of the length, and even if you, you know, uh, yeah. So that's basically the idea. Uh, my code is. Um, I do worry a little bit about it timing out, just because it's Python and the code is a little bit, uh, you know. But I'll show you. So the, my idea here is with sliding window, right? So basically, you keep on adding string, or you, you keep on expanding your window. And then if you cannot add that new character, you keep on subtracting until you, uh, that is good, right? So that's, basic, that's a very um, um, basic way of kind of calculating it. Um, the way that I thought about this during the contest, in case you want to know how like I got from step A to B, is that... Initially, I did the thing about blocking out, and I was going to, you know, look use hash tables and all these other things. Um, but then I was like, oh wait, I'm solving a wrong problem. So then I was like, okay, will sliding window work? Um, well, first of all, I was like, I to be honest, I didn't have to proof for sliding window initially, but I was just trying to see if complexity would make sense. And then when I saw that the length for forbidden is ten, I'm like, oh, sliding window would work because for every new character you add, you just check ten strings, right? So. I was like, ah, okay, you know, let, let's give it a spin. And that's basically the way that I have it here. Um, so here I put everything in forbidden to a set. Uh, I have messed this up before, so glad I didn't. Here I just get the max length. It doesn't really do much, but, but yeah. Um, but here is the sliding window part. Uh, and I probably could have done this a little bit better. Um, because that means that as soon as this is bad, you actually have to, you could remove everything as long as it's bigger than ten characters or something like this. But it, but it doesn't matter that much because I mean maybe it does because it's leak code. But in theory, it doesn't change the complexity because for every character you you're only doing ten checks. So so yeah, or ten checks to on the push and maybe ten checks on the pop. So so it's it's fine. It's twenty checks for each character, but uh, but yeah. Uh, but each check kind of takes this thing, but it's only 10, so it's fine. It's time. Maybe it could be 10 choose 2 if you're really, I don't know, right? It is very uh, sloppy on the bounds, but, but yeah. But basically, this is basic sliding window. While it is bad, you pop from the left. And yeah, this is very basic sliding window. So the bad part is the hard part, and the, that, the conditional is bad. Uh, so we just have... You know the current string, and as I said, I just kind of 
keep going one character by one character, uh, just at pre-pending it. And then seeing if that string is in for the forbidden string. If it is, then we turn true. Keeping in mind, this this only has 10 characters, so it's fine. Uh, so yeah, so the total complexity is going to be uh, O of N times K, where K is the the max length of a forbidden string. Keeping in mind that this doesn't even factor into it at all, the, the size of forbidden. Uh, assuming that set is a linear set, um, but yeah, and you could say that the lookup is also O of K, uh, so I don't know, right? And technically this takes O of K, but, uh, so this is O of K squared as a result, but, eh, whatever, I guess. Hopefully I don't fail afterwards, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, so that's the time, and spaces, however, will take this, because, you know, uh, we we do put it everything in a set, so it's gonna be m times k, where m is equal to le length of forbidden. Oh, this is space. This is time, and I guess technically this is this plus n because I put everything in this array. But just to make things a little bit easier for me to keep track, but actually you don't even need it. You can actually just I don't I didn't even use left. Huh. I mean, I used left for, for counting this, but technically, yeah, I, I wrote this in a very weird way, but it's contest code, all right, friends? So, yeah. Um, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think, and you can watch me solve a live during the contest now. Okay. I was worried about a silly mistake. So, yeah. <clears throat> a string is called rather than none of the substring is present for bitten. Link for the longest trip in the world. Okay. Is this going to be like a try problem or something? Hmm. None of the substrings is present in forbidden. Longest rated substring. I feel like this is like a suffix tree type thing, but mm, two people we got. It. That's pretty impressive. Okay, so ten characters. So, but there's a lot of these. Um. So we can't even. No, I think we can do it. Just we look, we just look up for it for ten and and use um. Do I create too many strings? Possibly. I don't know if I sh uh, Is Python going to be worry some about this? I don't think this is that bad though. Right? Am I confusing things? Gonna be ten to the uh, let's let, let's give it a go. If it times out, then I put it on the code. Um, okay. Is it equal to set of Maybe I'm confusing a little bit because you can do OD, you know, you would maybe you waste DE. So that's what I was thinking as well. Okay, hmm. four people got it already. That's impressive. Six people got it already. Wow, people are ready fast. And I had a silly mistake on Q2. Hmm. Is it sliding window? I think it's sliding window, isn't it? It 
it is, but how do you do it? Keep track of the last 10 characters. And then do a loop there, like that. Okay, fine. I guess that's how people got it so quickly. Um, okay. Yes, right. uh, how do you do that? Well, um, how do you do? I mean, I don't want to use hash. We want to return bad, not good. Yeah. Uh, eight is kind of not great. Huh. Is that just the li whole length? I guess so. Got to do, 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 do. Um, word separate and here. I guess just look at it. Tag. Okay, so now this is right because I forgot to append, but this is fast enough. <sighs> or even right. Let's see. Uh, what a silly mistake. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about these poems. Stay good, stay healthy, take good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye bye.